Welcome back to Empowerment Radio. So, as promised, we will do a little meditation that will help you to connect on a deeper level to that part of you that is the root of that fear of intimacy, of that fear of commitment. So for that, just get comfortable, put your hands in your lap, close your eyes, and take a deep breath in, and then exhale again. And then focus on your heart, and just spend a moment connecting to that place inside of you from where you know you can feel and share love, compassion, empathy. In the past, this may have been something you have done just for a few selected. Or maybe it was only possible for you to feel that connection with animals. Or maybe you feel your heart and the love and the compassion only when you hear stories or read books and watch movies. But you know it's there. You know that there is the source of love and compassion inside of you. And you can picture it as a beautiful light at the core of your being. Imagine that your mind can now come closer and closer to that source. Make that light bigger and brighter. And delve into it and find yourself on a trail that leads you back. Back in time back into your memories, back to the origin of that fear of intimacy. And at this point, your subconscious takes you by your hand and leads you back to a memory in your life early on, where you may have felt already that sense of need of safety or that sense of need to be secure and safe. Or maybe you are led back to a time where you felt unloved and you wanted nothing more than to be held, to be embraced, to feel like you're important, you matter, you belong. Maybe it's a situation where you see your parents fighting, or your mother or your father alone devastated and sad. Whatever it is that comes up for you, notice that there is a younger version of yourself that has received confusing and distorted messages about love and your lovability, about security, about trust in others. And be aware of that part of you. Notice what this younger self needs. Does it need a sense of love and a sense of being seen and valued? Does this younger self need a hug? and just be told, I'm here for you. You are beautiful, you are lovable, you're innocent. Does this younger self need to have a protection, a sense of it's okay to lean on others, it's okay to be yourself, it's okay to feel safe. I'm going to protect you. I will make sure that you will never be harmed again. In this moment, as you're seeing this younger self, you are creating with that part of your subconscious mind that was still not sure 
about relating to others and how to do that. You're creating your own relationship with that part. And you can feel clearly its core needs. And what right now seems to be more important? Is it love or is it feeling safe? And you can sit down with this part on a very cushy sofa and you can have a conversation and have a cup of hot chocolate and simply explain more how you can see the past now differently, how you can see this younger self much more in its wholeness, in its preciousness. And that it's no longer needing to hide out or needing to stay away from people or needing to cling on to someone else because you are committed to making yourself available for this part of you and making yourself the source of all it needs. You are in this model, the adult, the parent, that source that was maybe not ever or not consistently there when you were at that age. You're the one who is not only recognizing what is missing, but you're also simply replenishing that, what you as a child have always been looking forward to, but often with great hurt and disappointment not received. You're the one who can gently now dismantle that wall that this younger self has already started to build around itself to not be seen or not get hurt. And you can be the one through your gentleness and your kindness and your compassion can heal the wound and fill the void that has been with you since ever that part of you existed. This is not a one-time connection. This is not a short-term relationship. This is a long-term relationship that is connecting you with that part inside of you that you may have been always hiding from others. The more fragile, vulnerable, the more precious and deep and feeling part of you, who you may have ignored for a long time, just by being aware of it, visualizing it, feeling it, remembering how you felt at that time and then stepping into the role of soothing that part of you, stepping in the role of being the provider of all it needs and desires, you will feel a great sense of calmness, a sense of being at home with yourself very soon emanating from your heart. And as you feel more at home with yourself, as you feel more secure and filled with your own love and appreciation, you no longer will eye others as potential threats. You will no longer see them as the adults that need to take care of you, that need to be your foundation, that need to be your source of love and, and support. In fact, you will see others simply from your adult place as the ones you're choosing to share and to spend time with and connect with from a place of fullness, from a place of wholeness, and from a place of being at peace with yourself. Give that younger self a big hug and commit to revisit him or her on a daily basis, two, three minutes is enough. Simply being in that relationship for maybe three, four, five weeks, and you will notice how that fear of intimacy is greatly diminished. And you will notice how the need for love is greatly diminished. And it will be replaced by a much more joyful, 
and purposeful energy that will make you just find and choose the person that is right for you, that is matching the energy of the person that you became, that adult, that whole person, and no longer matches the energy of the one that felt broken, that felt flawed and unlovable. And you can stay in that energy longer. You can stay in this place with that part of you as long as you want to. And you can return as often as you desire every day. But for now, just take a deep breath in and exhale. And then you can gently open your eyes. Welcome back. Now, this is just a, a wonderful way of starting to heal on a deeper level that fear of intimacy. But if you feel like there are other aspects that you really need to have help with, that you feel confused by, beliefs that you want to change, patterns that you want to erase, self-sabotaging habits that you feel you're still stuck in, don't hesitate to email at thefearandanxietysolution.com or fill out the form to set up a free consultation and see what the work I'm offering can help you with to overcome those fears and create healthy, fulfilling, and long-term relationships.